Hello guys, here we go again with the 10th question from the Cameroon GCE board 2021, paper 2, section A, question 10. This question is talking about inequalities, how to solve inequalities and to represent the solution on a number line. Stay with me if you like this channel, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos. Don't forget to share my videos with others. Okay, we need to get into the question proper. What is the question saying? It's saying that we should solve the inequality minus 2 into 5 minus x less than or equals to 4 minus 5x and represent your solution on a real number line. So a real number line meaning there are several types of number lines. It can be real, it can be um, uh, uh, complex or, and so on. So there are so many types of numbers but today we are going to concentrate on real number line and real numbers are simply numbers that can be whole positive numbers or negative numbers without a decimal point okay so what is an inequality for us to solve this problem an inequality in mathematics simply tells us that two quantities are not equal inequalities are used to compare two quantities one quantity to the right of the inequality and the other quantity to the left of an inequality. So if two quantities x and y, we are comparing them in mathematics, we use inequality sign. So this comparison can take four steps, can take four types of uh, inequality. One which is strictly less than, we call it less than. So the quantity to the uh, left is less than the quantity to the right. Another one can be less than or equal to, meaning it's a combination of less than and equal to. So we call it less than or equal to. So the quantity to the left will be less than or equal to the quantity to the right. The next is greater than. Greater than simply means the quantity to the left is more than the quantity to the right. So we say the quantity to the left is greater than the quantity to the the right but they are not equal if we want to include equality we follow like less than or equal to so in this case we'll say the quantity to the left is less uh, greater than or equal to the quantity on the right with this in mind let's see how to solve inequalities like the one in this question Okay, so our question is minus 2 into 5 minus x less than or equal to 4 minus 5x. So the first thing to do in such situation is to always obey Bartmas. Bartmas says we should clear the bracket first. So everything outside the bracket minus 2 multiplies everything in the bracket that is 5 and minus x. So in that case minus 2 times 5 will give us minus 10 and minus 2 times uh, minus x will give us minus times minus is positive so will give us 2x so we have minus 10 plus 2x less than or equal to 4 minus 5x nothing has changed so the next thing we can do here is to bring like terms together what are the like terms the terms with x are the like terms and the terms without x are like terms so for for this case we can take all the terms with x to the left hand side and all the terms without x to the right hand side so we mean that we'll bring minus 5x to the left hand side and if it's coming we are going to have uh, plus 5x and minus 10 to the other side if it's going that way we are going to have plus 10x so we are going to have 2x minus 5 is coming to the left we have plus and less than equals to 4 minus 10 is going to the right it becomes plus plus 10 so if we add 2x plus 5x that's 7x and 4 plus 10 is 14 so we are going to have 7x less than or equals to 14 so we can divide both sides by 7 so we divide the left hand side by 7 and we divide the right hand side by 7. So 7 on the left will go into 7 
one time and 7 on the right will go into 7 into 14 two times so we have x less than or equal to 2 so one thing i want us to note here before we proceed is that when solving inequalities we follow the same process as solving uh, equations the only law that we need to put at the back of our mind when dealing with inequalities is that whenever we want to divide or multiply an inequality by a negative number the sign of the inequality changes so if we are dividing or multiplying an inequality by a negative number the sign of the inequality changes so if it was less than and we are dividing or multiplying by a negative number the inequality becomes greater than okay with that in mind the next part of the question says we should uh, represent your solution on a number line a number line is simply a line with arrows on both ends so these arrows to going to the right and arrows going to the left the arrows going to the left and the arrows going to the right are simply to tell us that the number line never ends it's a continuation of numbers going that way going to the right and the other numbers going to the left the numbers going to the left are negative numbers while the numbers going to the right are positive numbers and the point of intersection of these negative numbers and positive numbers we call it the zero mark so we can say that midpoint is zero and all the numbers to the right will be positive numbers with increased magnitude from one up to 1 million and so on so the next number that is going to be there is 1 the next number is 2 the next number is 3 the next number is 4 and so on so because we cannot represent all the numbers at once we put what uh an arrow there our point of interest is 2 so since we already have 1 2 and 3 we already have more than uh, 2 we can end there so to the left again we are going to uh the first place will be minus one the next point will be minus two minus three and so on so minus one minus two the next is we can call it minus three you can increase minus four and so on so how do we then represent this solution on a number line like this so our point of interest is 2 x is less than 2 so we are going to indicate the number in question which is 2 so we draw a small line there 2 at that point 2 they says that x is less than 2 so meaning that what less than is to the left so we can see 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 all that no all, all those numbers are less than 2 so our arrow our uh, indication will be moving to the left good so we draw our small line there going to the left to indicate that all the numbers we are talking about all the numbers from 2 going to the left now you can see we have left a small gap here this small gap will be filled by either an open circle or a closed circle if the uh, if the question is talking about strictly less than then we'll put an open circle here to show that 2 is not part of the solution so we can have 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on but 2 is not a solution but in this case is x less than or equal to less than or equal to meaning 2 itself is included in the solution set so the answers will be 2 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 because we have less than or equal to to indicate that 2 is included in the solution set we put a circle here and we color it we call it a closed circle so that closed circle simply tells us that 2 is included in the solution but if it was just x less than 2 then we'll put an open circle here so in this case is x less than or equals to 2 so our circle is closed that's it so that's how we solve inequalities and that's how we represent them on a number line i will make other videos like this for you guys don't forget to comment on the comment section for uh, questions you want me to solve and make videos for you stay with me as i bring you another video Bye-bye.